Learn how to make your own memory quilt. Whether it's from your own t-shirts or from someone you love, let me show you how to turn those memories into a quilt to last a lifetime. You might be wondering what kind of garments or materials that you can use for a t-shirt quilt. And obviously you'll want to use t-shirts, but you can also use sports jerseys or hoodies or sweatshirts, regular shirts or even baby clothes. You'll find all sorts of things that you can use and I'm sure you've saved a ton of it. The next thing to consider is how you want to design your quilt. There are several options out there, but one of the most popular is the grid quilt. And that's just squares made out of your various materials or t-shirts. You could also make these with sashing, which is the fabric in between the shirts. And you can even add a border around everything, which is basically fabric around the perimeter of your quilt. Another design option is a mosaic quilt. And you'll see in this diagram a variation of sizes put together. But if you look closely, they're actually rows of combined blocks. Have fun designing your quilt with the materials that you have. And you might think you need a lot of fancy equipment and supplies to make a t-shirt quilt, but you really don't. I happen to use my trusty Juki TL2010Q and it works wonders. But you know, before that, I just had a 30-year-old Kenmore machine. It worked fine too. Now in the description of this video, I link to an article where you can learn more about all the materials and supplies that you'll want to make your own t-shirt quilt. Now is one of my favorite parts, turning those shirts and materials into quilt blocks. There's a variety of ways you can do this. The simplest way is to just interface a shirt and cut the size of your design, like a square. Sometimes a t-shirt doesn't have a centered logo and you can certainly center that by just cutting your shirt apart and sewing it back together just in the right manner. Now other times, you can combine garments to make a single block, and then you can also sew materials together, like with quilting cottons, to make your block. Have fun using the garments you have and find creative ways to fit them into your overall quilt design. Adding vertical sashing to your quilt is a great way to showcase your quilt blocks, and it also helps to enlarge the overall size of your quilt. There is some quilty math involved because you have to make all of your blocks fit together. If you're going to add vertical sashing, you might as well add horizontal sashing as well. This makes for a very nice design on your overall quilt. If you're looking to make your quilt top larger, or you just want to finish it off around the edge, consider adding a border to your t-shirt quilt. The wider the border strip, the larger your overall quilt will become. It's a good idea to do all of that quilty math ahead of time in the design process. Once you finish your quilt top, you need to create a backing fabric. There are several options to do this, but the most common is to piece your backing fabric. Just when you think all of the quilt decisions have already been made, you still need to consider your batting. Do you like a thick and heavy quilt or do you like a lighter quilt? Choosing the right batting is going to make a difference in your finished quilt. Now that you've chosen your batting, you need to baste your quilt. Whether you choose to spray baste your quilt with a spray adhesive, or if you prefer to use safety pins for basting, Either way, both steps help you to prepare for your next step. You can either send your quilt to your favorite long armor, or you can quilt your own. Quilting your own quilt can be very rewarding. One of the simplest ways to quilt is a free motion meandering design. The last thing to do is to bind your quilt. You can either do the hand binding method which is very beautiful and rewarding, or you can choose to do the machine binding, which works wonderfully as well. 
check out some of these finished t-shirt quilts. You're going to just love them. Now I've been making t-shirt quilts for years and years and I've always get asked questions about how to make these. I'm so excited to finally offer an online sewing course so that you can make your own t-shirt quilts. I'm calling it a t-shirt quilt academy and it's open right now. Are you new to sewing and a beginning quilter? That's perfect. In this course, we talk about quilting basics. We discuss the different tools that are used throughout the process as well as concepts like seam allowance and even mitered corners. We also cover topics such as sashing, borders, binding, and backing. You don't have to be a quilting expert or even have a fancy sewing machine to make your own memory quilt.